Hey everybody, this is Dark Slayer, and you are watching Dark Slayer TV. I'm going to be casting this best of three between ATN's Sake, our red Protoss, down here on the bottom of Shattered Temple. And over here to the left hand side of the map, we do have EG's Puma playing our blue Terran. And a quick, uh, quick advertisement. If you have uh, not been to Dark Slayer TV, please head over to youtube.com slash Dark Slayer TV. It is where I'm going to be casting all kinds of StarCraft 2 matches, all kinds of tournaments. Um, it's a newer channel. I do have this thing called the Nostalgia Corner. I play all kinds of older games, you know, all kinds of Let's Plays. I even have some World of Warcraft content. I'm hoping to get some Diablo 3 content, maybe get into the beta of that. Maybe some Guild Wars 2 beta. I don't know. That would be amazing. Looking forward to Guild Wars 2, actually. That's going to be a very, very fun game. And something I'd like to point out real quick is Puma is actually doing somewhat of a wall off here at his ramp. Well, excuse me, he did. He placed the barracks down over here. He started a wall off and decided not to. I'm almost a little curious to why he did that. Man, the refinery coming down after the barracks on 13 supply. As you can see, Sake over here did get the gateway down on 13 supply. The assimilator is about halfway finished, chrono boosting as many probes out as possible. Here comes the probe from Sake, now going into Puma's base, doing all the scouting he can, trying to get as much information as possible. However, this SCV says, no, I don't want you to see this. Runs up, starts stabbing it in the face with that drill. Barracks is now done for Puma, now going to be training a Marine, sending it at that probe. He does not want that probe in here, seeing what he's going to be doing. Orbital Command now coming down for Puma. Back over at Sake's base, we do see that the Cybernetics Core is on the way. We're not going for any, you know, double gateway pressure or anything right now. However, he does have the Zila on the way. The SCV now making its way into Sake's base. Going to be going up here, seeing what it can see. And oh, if you look over here, we do have a factory down for Puma. This is interesting placement. I wonder if he's trying to hide it from Sake, or if he's actually just building it to scout. And since he knows he's in close air positions, he'll be able to fly it right over here and get as much scouting information as possible with it. Now, as you see, Puma running around Sake's base, trying to find what he can see. Not seeing much right now. He does see that there is a stalker being chrono boosted in, um, warp gate technology is on the way, he's not seeing anything out of the ordinary, and there is actually a zealot streaming its way all the way up to Puma's base, and if we look up here, there is also a probe up here, but these two marines do see the probe and are going to chase it down, it's going over into the corner, will the marines be able to get it, oh, Nice step fire movement, and the probe does go down. And here comes the Zealot coming up here to see what kind of damage it can do. It was surrounded by the three Marines, however, it did run at the two, making them run back, so that Zealot did be able to escape. Oh, but here comes a Stalker, and it got some harassment on these Marines. However, the two Marines on the high ground are firing at it. That Stalker needs to stay away from the cliff. Will it be able to snipe one Marine? It does. One Marine does go down. Over at. Sake's base, we do see that Chrono Boost, or not Chrono Boost, Warp Gate technology is about to finish up here. And oh, Puma dropping the factory in Sake's base and is now building a Hellion, going for a little bit of proxy action right here. When will this Hellion finish up? Will Puma be able to scout it? The SCV is running around, he needs to be careful not to send those stalkers over by the factory. The robotics facility is coming down for Sake and another gateway. And there it is. One Hellion is complete and he's building more Hellions as we speak. Concussive Shell is coming up for Puma right now and he did just throw down his starport. However, here is a gateway. Will he be able to see the factory? No, he does not see the factory right now. Oh, but that is just so close. There are two Hellions on the field right now and here they come. They are now streaming in over to the mineral line. One blow. Two blow, two probes have fallen. Three probes have fallen. Oh, will he build? Oh, dice, two more. Another one. Another one. Probes are falling quick. These stalkers need to do everything they can. Nice force field. Locking that Hellion in, not letting it be able to get out. 
and the Hellions have fallen. However, another Hellion was created and is now causing even more harassment on Puma right now. However, the Hellion does try to leave, but the Force Field keeps it here, and the Stalkers are going to corner it over here in the corner and uh, take that out. The factory now decides to lift up and fly out of there. He said, I did my job, and is now leaving before he gets destroyed. The Observer is on the way now for Sake, back over at Puma's base. We do see that the expansion is just now completing, and he is flying it over to his natural. Two barracks were just thrown down for Puma, and as you can see over here, there are units streaming across the map, grabbing that Zelnog and making sure nothing fishy is going on. And uh, we do have a medevac to support these units. Maybe he'll do a quick drop on the edge right here. However, there is a well-placed pylon from Sake. However, it is being taken out from these by these marauders and the two marines. However, here come the stalkers trying to do everything they can to take out that medevac. Nice force field placement, making it so those units can't go anywhere. However, he is a little undecisive on whether he wants to attack or not, and it did cost him a, a stalker. Units now streaming back to Puma's base. However, here's the factory again. It did just land. It's trying to get out another Hellion. But I don't know if Sake realizes that it is down. However, he did build a gateway. And here comes two Stalkers to do everything they can. They are now firing away at that factory, trying to get it killed. But the Hellion will finish. The Hellion just now finishes the factory flying into the air. Nice fire from the Hellion right there, grabbing a few probes. Now, oh, nice force field placement, making sure those zealots did get those few hits in, and the Hellion did go down. Back over at Puma's base, we do see that he is taking out these destructible rocks, going to be trying to go for that gold expand. Um, stim pack is halfway completed, and we do see that the combat shield is on the way. Back over at Sake's base, we do see that a Twilight Council is completed. We could see some blink maybe even some uh, zealot charge who knows maybe even even a transition into DTs now the natural is completed and is being fully saturated for sake the assimilator is down and we do see that uh, ooh there may be a bit of a drop right here four marauders flying off to the side of the map to try to get a good drop in the back of sake's base and we can see that there is an observer now flying around the map trying to see what Puma has, his unit positioning, all the above. Flying up here to see if he has taken the gold expand, decides not to, uh, turns around and flies back. If we look, the drop is coming close to the natural for Sake. However, will Sake be able to defend it? He does have stalkers in position. However, the marauders were dropped. And here comes the marauders with a nice stem, get, taking one stalker, two stalkers. And a nice pickup from the Menevac, losing only one Marauder. One Marauder for two Stalkers is well worth it. And now we can see that the factory is flying over Sake's base, trying to get as inf much information as possible. And once again, more harassment on this pile of pylon from Puma. Supply blocking Sake now. Two pylons are on the way to counter that. And as you can see, Blink is just now finished finishing up for the Stalkers. A nice drop with these Marauders stimming in, trying to take out these Stalkers. Both stalkers do go down. Now we do see that the probes are trying to harass these marauders. However, nice micro from Puma does get all those stalkers eliminated. These stalkers are still, or I'm sorry, these marauders are still running loose in this base, trying to take out as many probes as they can. However, Sakai's army does show up and annihilate the marauders. We do have a few marines and a marauder sitting outside of Sake's base. He did throw all his zealots and sentries over here to make sure nothing comes up and it now tells them that that job is finished and they need to start working on these destructible rocks. If we look over at Puma's base, we do see that the plus one weapon is on the way and a ghost to help take care of those uh, sentries energies. Maybe even nuke play, you could never know. And the robotics bay is coming down for Sake. Sake going to be getting some Colossus out on the field to take care of all this bio. However, this is a giant push from Puma. Puma sitting at 116 supply to Sake's 89. He's been doing great economic damage this whole fight, keeping Sake on the defense. And here comes the scouting factory. This That scouting factory will be crucial. It could annihilate the entire army right here. Oh no, but the factory decides that's that's not his job. 
Scan from Puma right there, taking out that observer. Will this factory fall? It looks like it. The factory is way too slow. It's trying to run away, but it's going up in flames. And there it goes, falling to the ground. And as you can see, two medevacs actually flying over here into Sake's base. They are completely empty. Sake actually with a bit of a supply block. He does have the plus one armor coming up for his ground army. There is a Colossus now on the way for Sake. If we look at Puma's supply, he is sitting at 134 to Sake's 106. And here is the Ghosts. Nice EMP taking out both of those sentries' energies. However, nice force fields placement is making it so these zealots do massive damage to his army. However, with those units being stemmed, the probes are going to have to be pulled off the line to try to help take out this army. But I don't think it's enough. The probes are falling awful fast. Puma just doing awful damage to Sake right now. Going to be able to neutralize this natural very easily. However, the probes are being transferred into the third, trying to keep them alive. However, he is now running up here, taking out that Colossus. And there's the GG from Sake.